It's 3 a.m. And I have intrusive thoughts. So we're going to deal with that right now. <laughs> it's kind of weird making this kind of video. Especially considering that I have been working on other videos for my YouTube. And uh, this is going to be the, the most recent one that's going to come out. <laughs> and I just I feel so bad. But yeah, um, intrusive thoughts. Um, God, this is going to be such a horrible video. <laughs> I have, um, I've not been doing this whole content creation thing. Well, okay. Okay. I've been doing content creation for a very long time, just not in the format or the genre that I've been doing it now. But in the time that I've been doing it, I haven't even been doing it for a year. And I've seen some really amazing, wonderful things happen for me at such a speed that I am flabbergasted. Now, I will also preface this as well. I am no way tooting my own horn or anything. I'm just, I'm worried for what's to come. You know, I've seen people, friends, mutuals, who go through this as well, who grow at such an exponential rate. And then that fire dies and becomes smoldering embers and I'm trying not to excite myself I'm trying not to think that you know I'm trying to not psych myself out that type of situation and I'm just I'm worried that I'm just going to be one of those you know fading fads type of situation where you know I'll see some traction here and there and then Everyone will just forget. And I'll just be gone. I mean... I mean, to be fair, I've only been doing this for... Eight months. I haven't even been doing this long. People have been doing it longer than I have. That deserve more... Than what they've been getting, and I don't know. I honestly don't feel like I deserve... Any... Of this. But I want it. And I feel like I'm a bad person because of that. Content creation, making stuff, putting smiles on people's faces, giving them something to laugh at, something to enjoy, and even a safe space to be outside of the actual, you know, day-to-day -day thing. That's always what I've wanted to do. I've always wanted to be that person that can take away some of the stress of the day. And make it even just a little bit better. That's my main goal. But I won't lie and say that being a full-time content creator isn't appealing because it is. It's everybody's dream that streams, makes videos, makes TikToks. That's everybody's dream job. Don't let anyone lie and say otherwise because they're making content for a reason. That is to put their face out there and... Maybe one day, you know, make a living off of it. And I'm not going to lie and say that's not something I want to do, too. I want to be creative. I want to, you know, have a job that I can come to and enjoy to its fullest because of the people that come in and the things that we can experience together and just the joy I'm able to give people. I would, that, that kind of job, that kind of responsibility is something that I want more than anything else in the world because it means I'm making a difference. Even if it's a small, minuscule difference, it's actually a difference. And I could say that I proudly did that. At the same time, I don't know if I deserve that kind of stuff. There's people that have worked harder, worked longer for it, that also deserve that. <sighs> I look up to other content creators, see the things that they've done. I've always done that. Back in the day before I fully embraced my 
f the the furry culture of who I was. I was a content creator on YouTube, making uh, let's play contents of horror games and everything because my main inspiration was Mark Fishbach, Markiplier, and you know I wanted to bring such light and happiness to people and make them laugh, even if it was at my own expense. And yes, I wanted to make a job from that. I wanted to be a content creator. I wanted to at least have a fraction of success in that. But I wanted to make a difference most of all. I wanted to make a difference in people's lives more than anything. That way I can say that my life was at least worth a little something. I at least made some difference to some people and gave them a little bit of joy, even if it was just a small bit. Recently in streams and everything, people have been posting and saying, oh hey, you're a poppy fur and da 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 da, and there's a lot of connotation with that. Um, not all of it good, but I really don't see myself as that. Like, I'm, I may have a small audience, but I don't have anything t to even consider myself to be something like that. I don't know if I want to be that. Maybe that's something that comes with time, but I don't know if I want the connotation that's attached to it. Because here's the thing, the farther you grow, the bigger you become, the less you're able to connect with the audience that you have around you. And that's just the stipulation of becoming a larger content creator. And that scares me. Because who am I without the people that actually watch me? Who am I without the people that take their time to come and watch this cotton candy goofball? Who am I without them? And if it becomes big enough where I can't even say hello to a person that's shown up almost every single time, then is it really worth it in the end? I'm not saying that I'm quitting or anything. Like I'm going to keep going. And I want to make this a career. And I want to bring that light to people. I want to be able to give them a place where they can enjoy themselves. I've wanted this more than anything in the world for the last 15, 16 years. I've worked towards it for so long. To see it actually start happening is both exciting and extremely frightening. Frightening because I don't know how long it's going to last or even if I am going to get anywhere with it. This might last only just a couple years and then I have to find another dead end job that doesn't care about me or, or the person that I am and I'll just die doing that. All in all, all I want to do is make a difference. I want to make a difference and I want to enjoy doing it. I want it to be my life. And that's really difficult to say from the streaming platform, at least because with YouTube and everything, any other platform, there's other ways to, you know, make a living from it. But with streaming and everything, you're essentially asking people to spend their hard earned money on you. And that's another topic. That's another topic. I've said so on stream before, and I will advocate and say it again. I hate asking anyone to donate anything, which is a very bad mindset to have as a streamer, because that's essentially what we're doing. We're asking for subs. We're asking for bits. We're asking for donations. That's how we make our income. Twitch ad revenue is jack diddly, and people don't like seeing like six 30 second ads to a minute every single time they come over. It's a duality that I'm facing that I have to either 
learn to accept or find another way of doing it because I hate asking people to spend anything on me. Maybe it's because I feel like I don't deserve it or maybe it's just I don't want people to hurt themselves to support me. Because let's be honest, people that watch streamers and donate butts loads or stuff like that, they might be in a financial place where they can do that. But there's a lot of people that aren't. There's a lot of people that will literally go into debt giving to streamers and that terrifies me. And I should know, I used to be a person like that. I literally took a credit card that I paid off in college. I maxed it out donating to people because I wanted the recognition. I wanted them to be happy and I wanted them to say my name. And this was, this was years ago, but I know where that comes from. And I don't want people to do that. I, I don't want people to, I don't know what that I want people to do. Because again, with streaming and everything, it, it's a way things are. Just how it works with Twitch, how you make a living with Twitch. And I don't know how I can feel comfortable with that, knowing that I'm taking away from the people that I'm trying to entertain. And a lot of people will say, a lot of people will say, we do it because we want to support you. We do it because we love you. We do it because we want to make sure that you can continue doing what you're doing. <sighs> People say they want to do it because they want to continue to see you do what you do. And I understand that. It's just very hard for me to accept that. And again, this is very emotional for me because I literally just had to ask my audience for help in a situation where if I didn't get the help that I could get, then I wouldn't be able to continue living the way I do. Like I had my car break down and everything and I couldn't get anywhere and I couldn't do anything and everyone on stream helped and I just, I was just blown away by it and I don't know if I deserved it or not. I don't know if I deserve anything that I get. And I'm not trying to be manipulated with the emotions right here. I'm just trying to convey what my actual face is showing. <laughs> because with VR, it's really hard to convey that. And I don't feel comfortable showing my real face. Maybe in the future I will, but right now I'm just not. Because I don't want to sully people's image of me. I don't think I'm very attractive looking. I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm very good looking or anything like that, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> These are the thoughts that keep me up at night. I want to quote unquote become a poppy fur. I want to reach that, that pinnacle, that place where I can reach out to so many different people and touch so many different lives and help them while also being able to say, Hey, I can do this for a living. But at the same time, I don't want to lose the connection that I have and I don't want to continue to ask people to support me. I don't like feeling like a leech. That's always been something in my life. I hate feeling like a leech. I hate taking from people that I can't repay back. <laughs> I don't know if that's because how I was brought up or past trauma or whatever. That's how I feel, and I just want to... I want to give back to everybody. I'm going to continue doing this whole... <sighs> I'm going to continue doing this whole content creation thing. I'm going to continue going forward. I'm going to continue trying to climb that ladder. What comes of it, comes of it. If my, if my light smolders out and I become an ember that is eventually snuffed out into smoke and ash... Then it was a good ride for however long it lasted for. But if more fuel is added to the fire and that fire burns brighter and it touches even more lives and I can call it a full career, then that happens too. Or maybe it'll just stay at the small flame that it's at. And it'll just be stagnant. I don't know what this is gonna I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know where it's gonna go. Regardless of where the journey ends up, 
I can proudly and happily say I have enjoyed every single day, every single second. I do not regret a single moment spent chasing this dream. I do not regret the years that I've thrown away with the previous work that I've done. And I do not regret the time that I have now with the amount of success that I've had. I do not regret anything. I do not take anything for granted or anything like that. It's because of you guys that I am truly blessed by this. And it's because of you guys that I can live a semblance of the dream that I want to achieve. Even if it's just for a moment. Even if I just get a blaze like a star for just a smell second. I'll take it. I'll take that milk second and I'll let it burn in me as long as it can before it fades out. I love you guys. I don't feel like I ever say it enough, but I love you guys. Every time I go live, anytime I post anything, anytime that I see you guys enjoying what I do. It makes everything worth it. It makes everything worth it. So thank you guys. Thank you for supporting my idiosity. Thank you for supporting me in what I do. I'll continue forward. And if it ends, it ends. But I really hope it doesn't. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. I love you guys. Bye.